Welcome everyone to Squid Island. This is our survival server with Jelly and Karina, where we all live together in peace, but usually not very peacefully. Yeah, that didn't make any sense. But anyway, to bring you up to speed, Karina is the mayor. That's right, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck on my roof. Let me, hang on a second, let me just go down. Yes, we had an election last time we played together. And also I've done some small upgrades to the house since you guys probably last saw it. I mean, I think you might have seen it in the last video actually. I don't know what I'm talking about. But the whole place is looking beautiful. I think Jelly was the last person playing and he has definitely done some upgrades. He was supposed to upgrade the paths and stuff. And, and we've got this canal system here where I think King Glowy, who's the king of the island, should be somewhere. King? King? But I just want to head over and check on the law that Mayor Craner brought in. Here is all of our laws here. And here is law three, Craner. No one is allowed to live outside of Squid Island. Which, by the looks of it, that was Jelly's house and it's looking a bit damaged. Today, my plan is to do what Craner told me to do, which is to pick flowers, but I'm gonna use that to troll somehow. I, I'm gonna troll, but I don't know what troll. There you go, there's the king. Hello, king. How do I get up there to see what happened? Abandoned temple? Okay, let's just go with the dirt bridge. It'll take some time to remove it, but that's fine. Um... What happened to my old lighthouse? Right, okay, that's... I mean, it's not my house anymore, so I guess it's not my responsibility. Okay, here we are. So, we do have a law against trespassing, but this is not technically Jelly's house anymore, so I can enter. I will miss you, Jelly. Wow, he's, uh... He really tore this place apart. I remember when I upgraded this for him out of the kindness of my... Whoa! He kind of left a lot. Oh, I'll take some bread. It's not his place anymore, so... Wow, okay. Anything? Oh, whoa. You've got some stuff here. Oh, iron? He left his iron here? Is he crazy? What's... Oh! That was a bit dumb. Uh, all right. Let me, uh, let me quickly remove this thing. Bit ugly. So where does Jelly live n n now? What is that? Why is there a massive tower going into the sky? Ah, oh, a lava tower. Hmm, that's suspicious. Jelly's house. Okay, we've got signage. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. We are getting close. Oh, and it's another pyramid. How is this guy incapable of building anything other than a pyramid? Okay, all right. Uh, the ultimate greatest, largest, most expensive, most beautiful house. Jelly's house. Well, I can't go in because trespassing is illegal, decreed by the mayor. But we will just poke our head inside. Hmm. How to troll Jelly. All right. I think I've got an idea. Like I said, our mayor, Craner, did give us the task of picking flowers. Although that was my suggestion. I, the yes, that was, yes, this is what I've been asked to do. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to make a flower shop outside of each of Craner and Jelly's house selling flowers which is gonna make me look like a good guy then i am going to troll jelly and somehow frame the mayor for it but i need to do it in a way in which craner isn't able to stop the framing in his next solo episode before we play together does that make sense all right let me break it down step one build flower shops step two troll jelly step three frame craner secretly step four reveal the secret when we play together i just felt like i said it again uh, even more confusingly all right we also could do with oh look at this interesting uh some wool but i don't want colored wool i want some white wool as well how do i reset the sheep I want some normal sheep. Okay, we're probably gonna have to go look for them. For now, let's just grab some shears and shear the red ones. Come here, red ones. Thank you, thank you. I'll take all of the red wool, please. All right, that's some. Let's just head over this way and try and find some sheep. Some natural free range sheep. One, two, three. I don't want your color wool, sorry. Four. All right, we might need to come back. Let's, we could probably get one done. Let's go do, let's go do Craner's flower place first. We're literally just gonna have the most 
boring flowers available because apparently you can only get red and yellow ones without putting in some effort. And we are not putting in effort for Jelly and Krainer. All right, so design, style. Gonna do it a bit like this. Uh, kind of like that, I guess. Think we're gonna need some fences and stuff to make it nice. Wait, maybe I don't have enough blocks. I mean, I'm kind of just making this design up as I go. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm literally going to have exactly the right amount for this first one. That's good. Oh, this looks kind of cute. Wow, that, that doesn't look bad at all. Quite impressed. And then I just need chests. Oh, and signs, of course. What do you think, Bobby? You, you, you're you proud? You're impressed with what I've done? Okay, one chest and then a sign. Bobby, what are you doing? You're in the way, you silly. Get out of the way, Bobby. <laughs> there you go. You stay right there. So this is what we've got. Slogos, flower shop. Flowers for sale. Pay what you can. Flowers go in. And we'll just take half of those out. Wow. What a great job. I guess we'll go do the, the one for Jelly now, and then we control him. Yep, what we've all been waiting for. Well, you can't really miss Jelly's house location, can you? With that massive lava tower thing, which I think is exactly what we're gonna use to make him get trolled. Okay, so where do I place this? I guess we, we should just cut some land over here and we can place it. That's, that's plenty of room. All right, Bobby, you sit and watch. We will get to work. I've already forgotten how I did this. <laughs> Whoops. Looking good. It's a bit annoying that Jelly's got these pillars in the way. Kind of ruining the vibe a little bit. But that's fine. We can make a little pathway here, actually. Okay, and then we just need our chest. Oh, and... Signs. Yeah, signs. There we go. Let's place that here. And I've also made one little change. I wrote profit goes to charity because I want uh, Jelly and Krainer to think highly of me. Will profits go to charity? No. No, they won't. But there's our flowers. Looking good. Okay, time to troll Jelly. One problem I've just noticed is... Lava can set things on fire. It would kind of be sad if the flower shop burnt down. So let's be a bit careful. We might have to dig a small trench because if you hadn't guessed already, I'm going to make uh, the lava basically cover Jelly's entire house. <coughs> yeah, I do not regret anything. All right, I'm hoping that's enough to kind of stop the lava spreading. But we will find out. We will find out. Uh, actually, Bobby? <laughs> yeah, Bobby, you need to get over here, Buster, because we don't need you dying in the lava. All right? We don't need that. You sit right there and you can watch the chaos unfold. Okay, how to do this? I'm guessing this is a four wide hole here. So if we just go... Yep. That's spreading just as I expected. You know what? Let's just fill this in because I don't want it to be obvious that we're trying to protect this. Let's just observe the lava first. Okay, it's going down at an interesting degree here. We might need to adjust the flow. Can it come down in the corner? Yeah. Oh, okay, here we go. We've It's kind of doing its thing. Honestly, I feel like we're kind of upgrading Jelly's house. Wait, I just realized I hear his cat inside meowing. Uh-oh, that's not good. That's, I, that's not good at all. Okay, uh, that's real bad. Okay. Anyway, um, right. Oh, God. Okay. I hope we haven't just killed the cat. That would be really bad. Hi, Jelly. As the mayor, I want to remind you I hate pyramids, so I covered it in lava so I don't see it. Mayor Craner. That's the sort of thing he would probably say and do. And now we just need to get the lava to cover the entrance. We actually probably should have put it inside the door so he would be even less likely to spot it, but all right, it is what it is. All right, Lava, we need you to proceed in this direction. Yep, that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about. Why are you stopping? 
Ooh, I gotta be really careful with these jumps. This could be really dangerous. That's closing it up nicely. Uh, I hope it doesn't burn the signs. That would be bad. So there we are. We now have this thing fully, fully covered. And I made sure to be really specific when I covered it because if I leave a hole, that's a hole that someone could get in and try to explore. And we don't want that. We want it to be completely impenetrable. Obviously, our little flower thing is taking some damage, which shows that that's happened since I played, technically speaking. Uh, but also, Crane is going to look at this and, and not do anything, hopefully, is the plan. He's probably just going to be just as confused as Jelly, until it's revealed, that is. Anyway, Bobby, it's time for you and me to head on back. Come on, come on, Buster. Um, is it a bit mean that we've destroyed Jelly's house straight away? I don't think so. Um, I think that he deserves it because he's been a real meanie and a terrible person in general on this server. Well, Crane has been real nice to us, so I don't think... Are we... Uh... Anyway, Bobby, come on. You need to get back in the house. Let's go, Buster. Let's go, buddy, buddy. I don't know why I keep calling him that. And yeah, I, the other thing I did want to do is I just wanted to do some like renovation work with my interior. Didn't really give myself an opportunity to do that. Why is my bed up here with a massive open sky? I don't know. But I think it is time that we at least put our items down in the right place. We'll have our little crafting area over here. And then I think we'll have our chest storage over on this side. Oh, and I nearly completely forgot. You guys in the last video reminded me in the comment section that I left our secret chest behind at my old house. I don't know how I could be so silly to do this. So let's go get our secret chest and move it to a new location. That, honestly, I don't know how I made that mistake, but look, let's go. So, oh, 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 uh, just while we're here, let's uh, change this to a charity sign. There we go. Profits go to charity. Beautiful. I don't actually remember. Is it under this one? No, this one. There it is. All right. Actually, have I been robbed? No. 11 diamonds. Yeah, we'll take that chest with us as well. We don't want to leave any evidence. Ba -ba -bum. All right. Let's go find a new location now. Now, I think we should place our chest in here. Basic. Why did that open? Why does that look like it's open? Okay, just nothing. It's fine. I just want to put it inside of the wall here. So it's kind of easier to access, but still hidden away. I just hope a creeper doesn't blow up here. That would be not good at all. All right, well. That's us for today. This is going to be real interesting, though, to see in the next episode and find out what happens.